Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Divine Ultimatum Everlasting Gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, Leader Olumba, Olumba, a Buddha supernatural teacher. First lesson, John chapter 4, verse 23. But the hour comet and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Second lesson, John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I said unto you. Golden text, Matthew chapter 23, verse 8. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. Quote, Beloved, our Lord Jesus Christ said, All that ever come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. That was in John chapter 10, verse 8. He also said, God is the Spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. That was in John chapter 4, verse 24. Brethren, He has come to tell and teach you everything as was stated, that, albeit when He, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall speak, that shall he hear, and uh, that sh shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. That was in John chapter 16, verse 13. Brethren, when you have read, brethren, what you have read would inform you that the Father is now on earth. Let us believe, accept, and stand by Him. He is the only one who can lead and protect us. If we believe that the Holy Spirit has, has come, let us abide by His injunctions. He has come to lead us. Therefore, whether you are in the moon or in the sky, in the sun, in the earth, or in other planes of manifest, you are enjoined to accept and abide by Him, for He has come for you. It is worth mentioning that every devilish act in the world has been destroyed and buried. To confirm this, our Lord Jesus Christ said, It is finished. Everything worshipped by man is dethroned for the Holy Spirit has come to lead and direct. As far as far as the kingdom is concerned, he is the leader, the guide, the guardian and doer of everything. Many people waste their time studying the Bible and carrying out investigations with a view to Knowing the way of God, the Holy Spirit has now come to teach all things and lead you to the accurate knowledge of truth. Other teachings, apart from the ones that emanate from the Holy Spirit, are vain and false. Remember, it was stated thus, When He, the Spirit of truth, is come, He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. That was in John chapter 16, verse 13. Noah and other prophets came and preached the word of God. But the Holy Spirit has come by himself to teach and bring all things to light for many People do not believe that the Holy Spirit has come. And those who believe 
are not carrying out his instruction. There is no difference between those who had not believed and those who believed but refused to carry out his injunctions. According to the spiritual chorus, Good Shepherd teach us thy way as the Creator. He is the Good Shepherd and Creator. It is time we discard all mundane teachings imbibed from men and angels. Such teachings are outdated and should be packed into the museum. The Holy Spirit has come to teach. The advice is for us to receive the teachings of the Holy Spirit since it is the only teaching meant for us absorb the teachings and put them into practice. He has come to teach and lead us as it was destined. At no time has it been said that an angel or man will teach man. It is only the Holy Spirit that has been destined to teach man and he has come to do so. The emergence of God. Brethren, God has come to put into practice all his injunctions. He has come by himself to teach love, peace, kindness, patience, and other virtues of God. He is now our soul. It is now our sole task to listen to the word of God and put them into practice. It should be noted that Imparting the word of God to people and practicing it are not similar. The man who practices the word of God is the one who is counted as righteous. The only way to practice the word of God is to abide by the teaching you have received. This is the only time you have to practice the word of God wherever you are. For such are the people needed by God. The Father is day in, day out teaching us what He is. Endeavor to practice what you have seen and what you have heard from me. For this is the right time meant for everyone to practice the word of God. The law of Moses stipulates Return every slap for every slap received, because then it is an eye for an eye. What would we gain if we adhere to this law? What would be the sign of you being children of God? Some people assert that God has no children. If God has no children, who are you? Are we not the children of God? The teachings brought in this era would attract salvation to us if you put them into practice. If we love the people we see, it would mean that we love God. And conversely, if we love God, we would love the people we see. It is stated, if you love not the man, which you have seen with your eyes, how then can you love God which you see not? If you cannot venerate man whom you see, how can you pass the veneration to God, the unseen being? The purpose of his coming, brethren, it is as a result of the problems in the world that the Holy Spirit has come by himself to teach and lead us to the accurate knowledge of truth. Therefore you are to abide by the teachings of the Holy Spirit. Beloved, so long as God is love, we must love one another, sanctify our body and abide by his injunction because he has come to lead and teach us. The Father has stated that God is light and they that are gods must refrain from the work of darkness and follow light 
for God himself is light. Once there is light, darkness disappears because darkness and light are incompatible. Everything regarded as powerful is God. Everything good and pleasant is God. All righteousness, truthfulness, and light are God. Although churches wage war against brotherhood of the cross and star, yet when the light of God overshadows them, they are frightened and they run away. It is because of this that the woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet, our fathers worship in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what we know what we worship for salvation is of the jews that was in john chapter 4 verses 19 to 22 brethren now he has come with his doctrine you should love one another remain united desist from eating of meat and fish and refrain from fornication from adultery backbiting from murder as well as other forms of atrocities it is only when you abide by his instruction that you have no problem we should be thankful to the father for the words given to us and as the children of god let us put his words into practice your problems lie in your refusal to practice the word of god you would have no problem if you abide by his love and injunctions. Let the first lesson be read again. First lesson, John chapter 4 verse 23. But the hour comment and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Spiritual chorus. I have come by myself, I have come by myself, so that the stray sheep would not perish. Brethren, God of redemption, know that the Father has come by himself to redeem us from the bondage of the devil. All those who abide by his teaching shall be free. If you have not done anything to show that you are a child of God, God himself would not recognize you. Let all your deeds prove that you are a child of God and let your fruits be that of God. Your deeds should not constitute confusion before God but should expose and displease the works of the devil. Endeavor to always practice the injunctions of God. How can you overcome the world and become a man of God if you do not stop seeking mundane things? but see God's ordinances. It would be very difficult to see or communicate with God when you do not abide by his injunctions. It is only obedient children who stand by, accept, recognize, glorify, and have regard for God's words that would dwell with him till eternity. The light has come to illuminate the work of all men. Therefore, abide by his words and forget the teachings of the carnal prophets. 
the Father and the Holy Spirit have come to teach mankind find consolation in the words of God so you could overcome all the evil around you. Invite the Holy Spirit into your heart. He is the light, He is the way, the truth and the life. The world and His passions shall pass away, but the word of God shall reign forever. Let the second lesson be read again. Second lesson, John chapter 14 verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Brethren, I have always told you the truth that the Holy Spirit has come and salvation has been extended to you. All things shall pass away, but the word of God shall never pass away. Not even an iota of his words shall be laid to waste until all are fulfilled. The salvation of God shall be extended to us on condition that we abide by his injunction. We have been told that God is a spirit. That spirit is now teaching us everything. God is light and truth. Whosoever continues in truth is of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. That was in John chapter 15 verses 1 to 2. He also revealed and said thus, And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. That was in John chapter 10 verse 16. The only judge, brethren, God is responsible for what you now see in the world. God is the only judge. Accordingly, you should refer all your problems to Him. He is the three in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Commit all your problems to the only ruler of the universe. Go from house to house preaching the word of God and evangelizing the world with divine word which you have heard. If you had done these and converted others, the blessings of God could have been yours. This is the new teaching that he has brought to us. The last manifestation, brethren, have you not seen what is happening in Nigeria and the whole world at large? This is the last manifestation. It is only those who abide in him that shall be saved. You are dead if you are without the Holy Spirit of God. But if you have the Holy Spirit, you are free. You would be with God and God with be with you till eternity, remain in him and abide by his teaching. The Holy Spirit is not in you as long as you do not have love. The Comforter has come and all his children shall be with him. Those who speak evil against the Holy Spirit have already perished. The Holy Spirit has come to teach peace, joy, love and truth he says call no other man teacher for he is the only teacher i want you to realize that love is the foundation of the kingdom love 
is the foundation of all virtues and fortunes. We should rejoice that the Holy Spirit has come to reign in this kingdom. In his kingdom, every carnal thing has been cast away and the people in existence fall under the canopy of the Holy Spirit. Let the golden text be read again. Golden text, Matthew chapter 23, verse 8. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. Beloved, just as you have heard from this text, you are equally the pillars of this ministry. It does not stop at only learning. Learning is not complete until that which is learned is put into practice. This gospel must spread, must be spread throughout the entire world. The everlasting gospel center should disseminate this gospel to the world. Every gospel should be recorded, translated, edited, typed, proof, proofread, re-edited, and sent to the Father for final reading and correction, made and published for the world to read. This is their work to evangelize the world through the Father's gospel. If you know how to fight and quarrel and gossip and engage in other types of sin, from henceforth refrain from all those vices because the Holy Spirit has come to reveal the secret of the kingdom to you. Through you there would be no more problem in the world and also through you there would be peace in the world. Refrain from doing the things that do not glorify the Father. Adhere to the words of God so that the Father would be glorified. Remember that he said, For unto the hypocrites, unto the Pharisees, and unto those who do not keep my Father's commandment, I shall say unto them, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. Therefore, refrain from sin and embrace love and righteousness. This is why I teach you love and also practice it. If you should abide by his teaching, everybody would be saved. And through you, they would know God, propagate love in the world, because with the Holy Spirit, love covers iniquities of man. All the eternal, all the carnal teachings of the world shall be cast into the lake of fire. The teachings received by lawyers, by the police, by soldiers and the entire world are what would destroy them. As true brotherhood, stop listening to angels and man. Only listen to the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit be the one to direct you throughout your life so that it might be well with you till eternity. Beloved, a stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise. Let those who have ears to hear let them hear what the Holy Spirit has departed unto the entire world. May God bless his holy word. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.